Well, you've probably never heard the term high tunnel farming, but if you go to Saturday's farmer's market at Cornell Cooperative Extension, you can see and taste the results. Some of the produce that will be sold is still on the ground down on the farm in Nanticoke. Here's Steve Craig. Don't call it a greenhouse. This is a high tunnel, 12 feet high. It's only heat source, the sun. Sunny Hill Farm in Nanticoke put this one up last fall as part of a federal project. The USDA had a grant program offering farmers the chance to erect a high tunnel to do some research for them. Let's see what can we do to spread out our harvest windows and to increase our local and regional food supply. The experiment is actually pretty simple grow the same crops inside the high tunnel as outside and then compare them. For example, this is what the spinach looks like that made it through the winter outside. Pretty puny compared to the same crop grown under cover. But an early spring head start isn't the only thing a high tunnel is good for. I was able to harvest lettuce and the spinach, mustard and mizuna all the way till the end of December. That meant planting seeds in the heat of late summer, something that often doesn't work outdoors with these cold-loving and wind-sensitive plants. But conditions in the high tunnel are controlled by cranking the sides up or down. The wind is blocked, the sun is moderated, there's no insect pressure. I control the watering, and so they've grown beautifully, and I've had the crops to offer again in the fall months when I normally wouldn't have. With the growing and selling season 50% longer, the high tunnels practically paid for itself already. Now that's green. Down on the farm in Nanticoke, Steve Craig, Fox 40 News.